Hey, hello, Jack. As I promise, promised you, I make uh, s some sound of this video uh, to speak about the new series I'm doing now with my paintings. So, this uh, new series is called Soleil Noir, and of course, uh, as you know. <clears throat> Soleil Noir means black sun in French. Why I didn't put sounds during the 21st minute of this video, the first time I, I published it, is because it's, it's a Soleil Noir is talking about depression, not my depression, but the depression of someone else who is Russian and who is escaping the war. <coughs> That's what you see and uh, you will see on all these paintings. But like my former series, which were a bit not a bit black, let's say dark, <coughs> because I have a black series too, so they are more dark than the other series I did. It will be also full of hope and full of joy. <laughs> Black Sun, Soleil Noir, was inspired by the fireplace in my living room. You will see on this video, maybe, sometime, that there is a fire in the fireplace in the living room. Yeah, you see the David Rovney uh, painted again because I'm also painting former pictures I did at the beginning in 2009 and 2010 and 2011 because I needed to to get the energy is what I Wait, I notice after painting this very, very big painting of two meters long and one meter something large, I painted new paintings like this blue sun. This one is called Blue Sun. Now you see the firework, the firework on the fireplace, sorry. And uh, so, for instance, this one was... painted after one watercolor I made when I was in Georgia. The one with the, the three boatmen on on the lake you saw, you saw before. <clears throat> so yes, I was in Georgia in 2021 and I, uh, I, we were going, well first I, I was going back to France because Georgia was uh, near Russia soldiers. Of course, Georgia is not a country near Russia. There is Chechnya. But Chechnya is somehow worse than Russia. Not now, but before, in 2021. So I was not far from this place and I stayed one year in Georgia. <clears throat> Here you can see this little painting called Honey. 
and this one from the black series a new one I started the black series when the things get a bit dark in the world in 2018 with the yellow vest then with you know of course more than the yellow vest the covid 19 and yeah you see it's uh, called sebastian it's about the war this painting it's a small one it's about also using a new medium because i'm using the material of a, a retired painter who sold me an atelier and in among his color her colors there is this uh, oil color which is mixable with water and i started to use this color with this painting called sebastian you can see that it's dropping like water because it's not exactly like oil color but at the end you can also see like bombs or let's say missiles or i don't know in a background there is some some burnt buildings or burnt something and maybe this uh, Sebastian is wounded like San Sebastian of course there are other new paintings like this one which is a uh, pools someone from a vintage from the 70s photo erotic photos from the 70s was inspired me this one <laughs> so to come back to about the uh, georgia time in 2021 i had to fly away <coughs> first me to France because there was this threat that Russian soldiers could come and well on on the moment I didn't really realize that it was uh, completely changing my plan in my life I remember when I the first the war was declared which was called a special operation this time and I didn't know I was visiting for the AM time the botanic garden, very very beautiful place in Georgia. It's a place I was the place I was uh, living for one year was a tropical wet cold place near the Black Sea. And I never take a selfie of myself but i don't know why before i entered this park this botanic garden <coughs> i decided to make a selfie and i made the selfie but it was very strange the, my face was completely dis distorted i don't know what to say very strange and at the same moment on the radio it was the war declared by the special organization like Putin forced the Russian to say <coughs> but I, I let you see the other paintings like this one which is from from a modern uh, photo taken in Madrid in Spain and I live near Spain not near Madrid but now I live in France 
near the Pyrenees mountains. It's really close to the border, like less than 100 kilometers. This one is a, a small one again, with uh, where I tried the oil colors of this, um, but not the mixable with water. I wanted, I don't know why, I wanted uh, to begin with sort of cubist paintings. I made two or three of them. I call it uh, sitar, or sitar man. I don't know. For the guitar, which is on the on the right. So as I said, I'm now in a house in the mountain, near a forest, and. I'm trying something completely different that I didn't plan and which I never imagined I will do. During almost 20 years I lived abroad until 2021. I lived mainly in Central Europe and Eastern Europe. I started by Czech Republic, then Hungary, then I was in Greece. I was living in Greece one year. Then I, I went to Turkey, but before I went to Bulgaria. And at the end in Georgia. Every time I change country, I stay one year or much more, like in Hungary, I stayed nine years. Here you can see one of my first paintings in 2010. It was made in oil because when I started painting in 2009, I started with oil colors, then I changed for acrylic colors, which was for me at this time much more easy to manage. This one is called, it's also small, and it's called Champagne. It's uh, from a um, uh, marriage in Las Vegas, a series of photos. This also is a redo, I made it again, it's a paintings I started to do in acrylic, a series called Birds, and this is called Birds. This was it's a bigger, bigger one, much bigger. <coughs> so now I'm in a house with a forest by just two minutes far from my place. Uh, this forest is mine, and I have also a garden down the forest. It's one year I'm here, and I try to make a beautiful garden in this place. But I make a, I made a lot of mistakes. This garden is not working well for the moment. I made a lot of tests for the plants. And there are a lot of 
question about the sun because it's in the mountain so there is not a lot of sun but there is only on some point of the land and not in the forest the forest is really dark but there are some place I can make I can grow the vegetables and the fruit and now I'm waiting just now some fruit uh, fruit trees to plant in the garden and I made this for the birds among others there are more birds now in the in the garden more insects and more plants but it's not exactly what I was expected it's very long to grow this one is was done um, during the period of the um, mosaic series in Bulgaria it's inspired by Tom of Finland first drawing when he was still in Europe well in Finland he draw some characters it's one of them I will let uh, now the the video uh, will talk just a little because I think the five last minutes I I did some some talk at the beginning when I shot this video so uh, I don't want to to delete this few minutes in English I recorded at the end of the video this one is uh, was made it was it's one of my oldest painting that I made in, um, in 2011 it was just a few years after I started and it's inspired by Arno Mucha Mucha I don't know if the Czechs say Mucha, the French say Alphonse Mucha and this one of course you recognized David Tosney <coughs> I have to go a bit back because it's a big painting bigger painting than the others This, I made it again this month and originally it's inspired from uh, David Orney artist's life the title, title of this painting and it was one of the beginning in 2009 the very first paintings and this one too is one of the very first paintings but it's in acrylic in 2010 and I made it again this month because it's one of my favorites of this time it's called Fire Night or Fire Horseman And with this painting, this month, I discovered uh, a new medium, which is neither acrylic, neither oil, it's tempera. 
basement now you will see some tempera paintings tempera is only oil tempera grassa is only oil from the tube oil colors from the tube with eggs and it's a very ancient medium i let you now and i hope you enjoyed the last minutes before i say goodbye <laughs>